If you're new to unit testing, you have absolutely no idea what unit testing is, or you just need a quick refresher, then this course is going to cover pretty much everything you need to know uh, about getting started with testing. So in this part, I'm just going to talk about what unit testing is, and then throughout the course, you'll learn how to actually get started with PHP unit, which is a popular PHP testing package. Now, there are other packages available, but PHP unit is so widely used and it's a really great starting point, as well as great for what we're actually looking at in this course, which is unit testing. The first thing though, what actually is unit testing? Let's take a look at a Wikipedia definition. And this says that unit testing is a software testing method by which individual units of source code are tested to determine whether they are fit for use. So translated from this uh, little bit formal description, this basically means that you're not testing the user flowing through your site. You're not testing entire controllers where you'd maybe use lots of different units to do what you need, but you test individual parts of your code. So this is like different classes, very, very small units of code. So the smallest parts of your code, we're gonna look at testing. Now this then makes it easier to go on and use these different units knowing that each individual unit works. And then later on, you can look at other styles of testing like acceptance testing, which will test the flow through what you've built. So in this case, it's our business logic, which basically means how it should work from a user's point of view. And you can also test uh, everything maybe in a controller, which is commonly referred to as integration testing. So either way, we're covering unit testing, which is super important. And once you know that the smallest parts of your application are working, you'll be more confident that your application will work when you bring these components together. So just quickly, and once again from Wikipedia, it says here that the goal of unit testing is to isolate each part of the program and show that the individual parts are correct, which is a much uh, clearer, better description. So what we're gonna be building in this course are three small projects, each of them getting more complex as we go. So we'll cover different things that we can test for, and you'll be able to start writing your own tests after that for any application that you build. Now we're also gonna be looking at test-driven development or TDD, which is a style of testing where we write tests before we write any code at all. Now this might seem a little bit odd, but it gives us the opportunity to think about how we want things to work before we start writing any code. And we'll be following the cycle of writing tests, seeing that they fail because maybe we don't have any code, then writing the code to make them pass, and then refactoring our code to make sure they still pass. And we'll be just constantly running our tests along the way. So I've tried to make this as fun and practical as possible. So let's go and have some fun with unit testing.